For this video we're going to be looking at making use of track changes or track document changes. This is a very useful and powerful tool in Word, especially if you're working on something with multiple people and you want to see where changes have been made from the last time you've edited it. So to look for or activate track changes, we click on our review button. All right, under the tracking options, we got this section here. So track changes. So let us see. Keep track of changes made to this document. This is especially useful if it is document is almost done and you're working with others to make revisions or give feedback. So if we click on it, we go track changes. Okay, track changes have now been switched on. If it is gray like that, it is means that it's been switched on. So if I decide to change paragraph two to document, we can now see that this red line has appeared to show that changes have been made. So how do we know or what has been done? We can either click, double click on it, or sorry, click on it, should I say. We can see that paragraph two has been crossed out and been replaced with the word document. All right, if we click on it again, there we go, it's been hidden. Also, we can come up to here where it says simple markup, all markups, no markups, where it hasn't been changed, okay, where there's no indication that it's been changed. So a simple markup is the easiest to do. And also, if we decide to now go and change the font, so let's give it a heading option. There we go. And we go back to the review. And we go all markups. We can now see that I have applied a heading one option or formatted it with heading ones. Okay, so that is how we make use of track changes. If you are happy with track changes, Okay, let me switch this back off, simple markup. If we are happy with track changes, we come to our accept option and we go accept all changes. And there we go, it's been switched off. And we go and re-click track changes and we switch it off there. So that is how you make use of track changes in Microsoft Word.